This was the field of wheat that was sown eight days ago, is it? Coming up nicely. It's a headland. Green stripes there. We've got stripes that way through the field. Let's go and look where the heavy ground was here, see what it's coming up like here. Not too bad. Looking good. Someone's playing football over there, you can hear. Just like little soldiers all the way across the field. Pretty pleased with that. Randomly, someone seems to have driven on with a little tiny tractor and gone in a loop. Also, some sort of car's been on in a loop as well. The gate post snapped off, it rotted away, so we have to fix it. Yeah, this little tractor thing is sort of driven round. Bit weird, really. Oh, that's been doing. New Merlo, you need two hands to take the bucket off, which is like a bit of a safety thing. But we're just gonna get a couple of bags of barley out the shed there by the baler. Take him up to Andrew. He's, he's got enough seed with him nearly, but he's just gonna be a little bit short. So he's just using one hopper today because the other one's set up for something else. I think the other one's still calibrated for wheat. I'll just stick that in there. Nick's here as well and his Yaris that matches mine. This is the advantage of a seven metre telehandler. Sorry, a 10 metre telehandler, you can reach over the top of the hedge cutter and fish one out the back. I actually need two and it would lift two at once, but the hoops on the top weren't lining up, so I'm just doing one at a time. Drop them in the bucket, the bucket, and then just run up the road to Andrew with it. It's a shame really that there's not a telehandler up there, because I put, could have put one in the back of the buggy, the, uh, the Corvus. That's two in now and the dregs of a bag that won't quite fit in the hopper when he left, so I'll just clip the bucket back on and we'll take him up. There we go, I'll just put the boom suspension on so it's, uh, it's smoother on the road. Can you guess where Andrew dropped the wheat out the drill hopper before he swapped to barley? Or one of the hoppers onto the seed sock? Just at Brook House, they needed some logs bringing round and uh, the Hot up lighting for them. It's a Hindu, I think. This is a Hindu. Where are you all from? Leeds. Is that Leeds? Harrogate. Harrogate. Yorkshire. 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 Right. So they're doing an 80s uh, sports day and they're all slightly hungover because they've been out in Liverpool last night. They arrived at the field. I don't know how, but I can't see an orange tractor and a big red drill. No idea where Andrew is. Oh, there he is, still there. He's just about to see him. Hiding. So that's why I couldn't find him. He was on a green tractor, not an orange tractor. I forgot he'd uh, swap him around. So we'll just drop the bucket off now, get the bags of seed out, top him up. This bag should finish this field off now. And then he's only got like from them trees to over the, the other trees to do. But I've got a spur bag with me, so we'll put it in anyway. And then he could probably do 10 acres somewhere else on the way home. Just putting the dregs of the badge in, look. Matchy matchy. Available online. Yeah, we just uh, put these little, this little bit in out of that bag. Stick the other one in. Look at the dust though. You see it? Proper dry, but it is supposed to rain tomorrow. This is really like land as well. So like I say, hope it'll be ready early in. July or late June, just like that one there, and we can redrill it again. That one, backwards. He's yet there, just took off from behind the trees. Oh. Heading for the lighthouse, which is over there. Someone said yesterday in the video, Can you drill it? 24 hours after after we've sprayed it the answer is you can actually drill it immediately you know seconds minutes you can nearly have a sprayer on the front of the tractor sometimes we even drill it and then spray it afterwards but with this being quite light land even a low disturb service drill such as that one wherever it is that will still move a little bit of soil so if you imagine there's a blade of wheat growing and it gets covered in soil the sprayer won't won't kill it because the spray won't hit it well that was obviously sprayed yesterday so it dried on the plant it's took it in a little bit as well and then now 
we've drilled it and it should work. You could maybe say that if you chop a leaf off that the chemical's on and it doesn't take it down to the roots, it won't kill it, but it doesn't really happen. And um, yeah, it's just, I left it as late as possible to spray it so that if there's anything germinating and came up, it got it all. If I'd have sprayed it off like a few days before and there might have been a couple of things popped up. So last possible moment is when we try to spray. Summer barley update, a little bit riper than yesterday. I'm gonna move this trailer off this field here and then we can drill it with barley later, basically. I'm just gonna come back in a second and spray it off. And I'm just gonna shoot back the yard, do this one, put a bag of seed in, go and do 10 acres up the road. And then we've pretty much done half the barley then. We've just got one more day of barley drilling to do. It's the plan so far. Just quickly spraying this off now. It's tiny the field if you look. It's like one around the outside and pretty much through the middle. Just getting the remains of my goodies out of the fridge in the combine and I just remembered this. So I was supposed to be going to London because I've run the Northwest Regional Hero now on Tuesday for a, a thing on Wednesday because it's going to be like a national winner as well. But it was going to be on Back British Farming Day, or Back British Farming Day, which is supposed to be this Wednesday, has been cancelled because of the Queen dying and a lot of things, different things going on in London. So that's been postponed. So I don't know when that'll next be. Which is a bit of a shame. Looking forward to that. But it's given a dry week now, so we can get on drilling. I think this possibly could be the last field I can do today. The wind's just starting to get up a little bit now. We'll look at the satellite picture as well. There's some rain coming in. So we're just going to have to go nice and steady around the edge of the field with the pressure low booms low so it just tickles the top we don't get any drift the last one i can spray tonight because it's, the wind got up for a minute now it's gone quite still and the satellite front shows the, the rain coming so try and get this finished and call it a day i think there's some bits this field that have got really bad brome and it has germinated but it looks like a lawn like, ah, uh, do we drill it or do we straw rake it, roll it, get another chit of them weed seed and then direct drill it in a couple of weeks? Not sure. If I'd have known it was this bad, I'd have straw raked it and rolled it yesterday or maybe on Friday and then gained another weed. Or has everything chitted really well and that's why it is like a carpet and now I've killed it with this fine as long as we don't disturb any soil when we put the next drop in and maybe the pre will work. Good job, I'm nearly finished because we've got spots of rain on the window. All done but I just thought to show you this. They are mushrooms growing in the wheat straw. I think that's a sign of healthy soil, what do you think? Hello, got a big strap down there. Um, Andrew didn't know there's a ditch in the field, he's just been flailing around, so he's stuck, so we're going to go and see what he's done. So I did this a few years ago, ploughing. I was on a field we were renting, and I just thought it was a big patch of brambles, and I tried to plough them close, and what happened is the front axle hovered over the ditch, and it was only when the back wheel fell in, I realised that there was a ditch there. So Andrew's just come along, not known, and it's just fell in. Oh, part there, mate. That, Danny's just reminded me that a fireman once fell in this ditch. So there were someone set fire to a car in the corner of the field, and the firemen were putting it out, and they just thought the same. They just thought it was grass, and he just stood back holding the hose, and he just went ah, and then the hose like squirted up in the air. Anyway, we've got a strap now. We're going to try and pull him out backwards. Is that off the wheel? Is that wheel? Do you spin that wheel then? No, it's dust falling off. Right, we'll pull him out with the merlot. It's got to get in through the back window because he doesn't have a door, I don't think, this side. And then that, that side's in the hedge. But I'm on the barrel, I just realised no diesel in it. Anyway, hopefully, if we just pull him slowly now, we should. The ditch ends here, you see. There we go. Pretty easy. Yeah, this ditch only really starts there. And it's dry in the bottom anyway. 
but we did think it was a fish, Nemo, trying to find water. Hope we don't run out of fuel going back to the yard. Um, has anyone else put their empty seed bags under the boom so they don't blow away as well? Or is it just not what we do? Missed him. Andrew's just put Nemo back in the shed, you can't quite see it. Anyway, that's probably all for today, but I haven't done the birthday bumper. And no one noticed yesterday that I had a bag, well, one person noticed that I missed a north out of that. So it's 10,091 pound, but I put 1,000 and whatever it was yesterday. Anyway, happy birthday, James, he's 48. Robert, Nathan, Tom, and Vicky Bowen. Happy birthday, everyone on the birthday bumper and anyone else whose birthday is today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for donating the money. Like I say, over £10,000. Amazing. Don't forget, these are online. Available. But they, they go quick, so be quick. And um, tomorrow, we'll see what the weather does. It is now obviously raining. So we'll see what field work we can get done. And I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, sorry, one last thing. The Real Country file is out now. Link below. Don't forget to check it out.